I started by making simple sprites for the square and the triangle. Changed the background color of the main camera and imported my sprites into the project. Then I began by laying down some sprites and tweaked some of their scales and positions. And fixed some snap settings to easily get around my scene. Here I am testing the sprite color and it's pretty good for the time being so I'm leaving it like this. Then I created my first script for the target and imported TextMesh Pro, fixed some scales and made it so the text changes value based on the square's life. Next I created the bold game object using a simple circle sprite and added in some colliders. After that I created the walls for the ball to bounce off. I used the sprite I currently have even though I should have created a sprite for it. It's okay, I'll change it later. Then I created the text for the ball count that I have, and then I wanted to begin coding the spawner script. So I needed to make the ball rotate towards the camera. So I found the script online and uh, <laughs> yoink! Then I made it so the ball spawner only followed the mouse on click. I wanted to work on the dotted line that goes from the ball spawner, so at first I thought about making it a line renderer and then clamped the rotation of the spawner so I couldn't aim down anymore. Here I'm trying to make the material for the dotted line render and I struggled a lot with it. Then I found the material online that worked pretty good so I left it as is for now. I then made the sprite for the walls and put in the rest of the walls, changed the color of the line renderer and then using a raycast from the spawner I made the line renderer position follow the raycast points. And yeah, my dotted line wasn't working properly so I removed it for now. Here I am working on the ball spawning ability so I made a coroutine and called it like every x seconds. And added force to the balls and yeah, as you can see it's working perfectly. <laughs> Turns out I was calling the loop in the update function, so the balls were all getting spawned together. So I moved the for loop inside the coroutine, and now it's working fine. Yeah, really fine. To fix it, I created a physics material to add more bounce to the balls. I started at 10 bounce and 0 friction, and that caused the balls to bounce too much, so I made it 1, and now it works good. Next I had a problem that the balls can collide with each other, so I made it that the balls cannot collide with other balls, and made it get destroyed when touching the bottom ground. I encountered another problem, and it's that I can shoot the ball first time, and then can't the second time, so I found the solution for it after some time, and now it works again. Yeah, it works really really good. So I decided to leave the problem for the time being, and started working on the ball spawner text. And I wanted to make the text appear on the left side if the spawner is on the right side of the screen. So I put a simple trigger that detects when the spawner is on the right and moves the text to the left. I then decided to make the text change based on how much balls you have left to throw before fixing the text position. I don't know why I did it first, but yeah, I did it first. And yeah, I got it working. Then I proceed to fix the text position again and it's all working great now. After that, I made a simple speed up icon using Photoshop and implemented it into the game with some animations. And now while throwing balls, time will speed up after like 3 or 4 seconds in the round. Then I fixed the colliders on the triangle sprite and made the target in no raycast so that the line renderer wouldn't reflect on them. Then I made the target move down after you have no balls left. Then I worked on the triggers for the warning screen and the game over screen. Next I made the UI for the warning screen using Photoshop and made it when a target gets to a trigger, the warning would disappear. I decided that it's time again to fix the line renderers, and after struggling with it for like one hour, I found this website, and I, and I downloaded the package and imported it into my project. Messed around with some settings, and yay, that's it. I got it working. Then, I made a new ball sprite with purple outline, and made some gradients for the background and the walls. Ok now I wanted to make the balls follow the first ball that collides and then get destroyed and as you can see it's working perfectly. So I messed up around with it and got it to work and now it's working fine. I then started to make some UI for the points and made that in a round when, you, when your target get destroyed you get 10 more points. So destroying all targets in a single round will get you more points than destroying them on different rounds. 
So I'm quite low on storage now and I didn't record this last part but I put in some post processing for glow and made a slider that you can use to shoot the ball and the button to get back the balls if they are not necessary anymore or if they get stuck. Remember? And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.